Hello everyone, welcome back to another video brought to you by WebVidTuts. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a navigation bar for your website. So let's go ahead and begin. Basically, all I have right here is just a standard HTML5 document. And I just have the structure for the navigation bar that we'll be creating. And all you pretty much need is have a nav element which was introduced in HTML5 and then within that nav element have a unordered list and then populate that list with some items and then make sure you turn them into links and that's pretty much it for the structure of the actual navigation bar so you should have something like this of course it's gonna look completely different after we style it and everything and actually I'm gonna go ahead and paste some of the code that you would need to right to make a good looking navigation bar. So go ahead and make a style element up here and then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste some code in real quick. Okay. So this is some styling for the for a navigation bar that I made pretty quickly. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. This is kind of like a standard navigation bar. It just has some links to the other pages that you might have and once you hover over it, it looks like a button that you can press and you can press down like that and I'll go ahead and explain the code for the CSS for this so right off the bat I just have this to reset the margin and padding for all of the uh, for everything for all the elements and then I just have the uh, everything set to the font family family aerial or a sans serif font that they have on the machine. And then, actually let's go ahead and get rid of this. This is from something else. And then we'll go ahead and install the, I'll explain this in just a second. We'll go ahead and explain the navigation bar, well the nav element um, properties. First off, I just have a width of 70%, which you can have your width at whatever you want. If you have a fixed site, then you have it as an absolute value of like 500 pixels, 900 pixels, whatever you want your navigation bar to be. And then this margin zero auto, that just centers it to the center of the page. And then I have the border radius, just give it a little curve on the border. And then have a little bit of padding in there so that the, uh, the list isn't to the complete left. It has a little bit of a buffer because if this was all the way over, then it would... Uh, clash with this border radius over here unless I styled this button that way but that's a little too much work for this video <laughs> and then since I have a width of 70% I made sure the navigation bar didn't shrink too much so where it, so where it like does that where the buttons go over under like that but because if you had doesn't have <laughs> sorry if you don't have the minimal width then it would all collapse down like that so actually, I actually set that to about 600 or so to fix that problem. There you go. That last list item doesn't come down. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. And that is for the background, I just have a linear gradient of kind of like a gray color to a darker gray color, almost black. And then I just have a border on there. And then I made sure that the top of the navigation bar doesn't have a border since it's at the very top of our document. That's pretty much that. And on this, on the underordered list, I made sure that the list does not have the bullets. If this wasn't style none, you would have the uh, bullet points still in there as such. And we don't want those on a navigation bar, so that's why I have the list style as none to get rid of those bullet points. And then, since the lists are usually in a vertical order, I went ahead and put a float left on the the list to make sure that they all go to the left, which means they will be in a horizontal pattern then after that. And that's all this code does right here. And then I went, went ahead and styled the anchor element that is within the list element. And the display block is to make the whole area around this button clickable instead of just the actual word. And that's what display of block will do. Padding to the left and right, um, instead of defining an absolute width, just put padding left and padding right. And that means it'll scale to that actual 
button, if that makes any sense. So if we have a long word, it still has 30 pixels on this side, 30 pixels on this side. And as you notice, this button's slightly smaller, so it scales with the actual word. And then it set the color to a slightly grayer white. And then took the text decoration off of it, which is, there's no underlines. And then I went sure to align the text to the center of that button. And then I just have these two to actually um, show a little bit of styling once the user hovers over it like that. I actually put a box shadow because it makes it kind of look like the button's popped up. And then on the active, which means they're pressing it down, I made it so that the button has an inset shadow, so it kind of looks like they're pressing a button down, which I think is pretty cool looking. I use that for a lot of my websites. And then just set the color to a, this one to a lighter color, since it's pronounced, or uh, like a raised button, and then darker for when the button goes down, to show it like a shadow, since it's lower. And that's pretty much all that does. And then up here, I just have all these together, so you can modify all the height values at once. For instance, the height of six, or if, uh, so the height to 60, so the line height to 60, then it solves everything instead of going to each individual property and or, uh, each individual selector and changing the property that way. So that way you have all the heights in one place and modify them really quick. And that's pretty much all you have how to make a navigation bar. Obviously, you can change it a little bit. Um, I just have this one set to the very top. If you actually had a logo, if you want a logo above this, then you would probably do the border radius around the entire thing, and then the border as well. But I just made this to give an example of how to make one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.